Hey everyone, in this video I will discuss the questions of dental histology that were asked in NEET MDS 2022. Let's start with question number 1. Plexus of Reshko is located in Options are Cell rich zone Cell free zone Pulp proper and Odontoblastic zone the answer of this question is option B, that is cell free zone. Let's now see the different zones of pulp. The outermost zone of pulp is odontoblastic zone. Next to it is cell free zone where nerve plexus of Rashko is found. Next is cell rich zone where the main cell found is fibroblast. The innermost zone is pulp proper. The cell free zone lies beneath odontoblastic zone. It is absent in radicular pulp and the cell free zone provides space for the pulpward movement of odontoblasts during dentinogenesis. Let's now go to the question number 2. Antibacterial action of saliva is attributed to all of the following except the options are Immunoglobulin A, Lectoferrin, Lysozyme and Aminopeptidase. The answer of this question is option D that is Aminopeptidase. Lysozyme is a bactericidal enzyme while Lectoferrin is bacteriostatic. It binds iron and arrests bacterial growth. IgA that is Immunoglobulin A provides immunologic defense. And aminopeptidase is a proteolytic enzyme. It catalyzes the cleavage of amino acids from the amino terminus of protein or peptide molecule. Let's now go to the question number 3. Which of the following is a non enzymatic antibacterial found in saliva? The options are enolase, lysozyme, lectoferrin, and amylase. The answer here is option C that is lectoferrin. The antibacterials among the given options are lysozyme which is an enzyme and lectoferrin which is not an enzyme. We already have discussed about lectoferrin in previous question. So let's go to the next question that is question number 4. Supernumerary tooth is due to a defect in which step of tooth formation? The options are initiation, morphodifferentiation, histodifferentiation, and apposition. The answer here is option A, that is initiation. Initiation implies formation of tooth bud. So, when there is increase in initiation, extra or supernumerary teeth are formed. The most common supernumerary tooth is mesiodens and a lack of initiation leads to less number of teeth. It may lead to either hypodontia, oligodontia or anodontia. The most common missing teeth are third molars followed by maxillary laterals followed by mandibular second premolars. Let's now go to question number 5. Which of the following transient structures has a determining role on the shape of the tooth? The options are enamel cord, enamel knot, enamel niche and enamel navel. The correct answer here is option B that is enamel knot. All these are transient structures and are seen in the cap stage. The enamel cord secretes the growth factors that help in conversion or transition of cap to bell stage. The enamel knot secretes growth factors that inhibit local mitosis and thus helps in establishing occlusal anatomy. It is also called cuspal organizational center. Enamel navel is a depression on the outer surface of enamel organ and it is formed due to attachment of enamel septum. The enamel septum is enamel cord when it extends to the outer enamel epithelium. So, if the enamel cord extends to outer enamel epithelium, it would be called enamel septum. So, let's now go to question number 6. 
which of the following periodontal ligament fibers bears the maximum masticatory load and transfers it to the alveolar bone the options are horizontal oblique crestal fibers and apical fibers the answer to this question is option b that is oblique fibers the alveolar crest fibers resist extrusion and lateral tooth movement while the horizontal fibers resist horizontal and tipping forces the oblique fibers are the most numerous of periodontal fiber groups and they resist vertical and intrusive force so they bear the masticatory force and transfers it to the alveolar bone in the form of tension the apical fibers resist the force of luxation they may prevent tooth tipping let's now go to question number 7 von kolb's fibers are mainly made up of which type of collagen fibers the options are type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 the correct answer here is option c that is type 3 the von kolb's fibers are the largest fibers in dentine and they have a diameter of about 0.1 to 0.2 microns they contain mainly type 3 collagen the von kolb fibers are ergyrophilic that is they stain with silver they are found only in the mental dentine and they are oriented perpendicular to the dej that is dentino enamel junction let's now go to the question number 8 which of the following enhances the tensile strength of bone the options are hydroxyapatite calcium collagen and phosphorus the answer here is option c that is collagen the organic framework of bone is mainly made up of type 1 collagen and apart from this some amount of collagen type 3 5 and 12 are also found and it is the collagen that imparts the tensile strength to the bone let's now go to question number 9 identify the newly discovered gene involved in odontoblast differentiation the options are map1 p53 pax9 and phex the answer here is option a that is map1 the newly discovered genes for dentinogenesis include map1b genes which is involved in odontoblastic differentiation phex and osteonectin they are involved in mineralization of dentine so the answer here is map1 gene let's now go to the question number 10 organic lining of dentinal tubules is called options are lamina limitans lamina lucida lamina densa and lamina dura the answer here is option a that is lamina limitans in this diagram you can see an odontoblast with its process in the dentinal tubule the dentinal tubule is lined by lamina limitans which is the organic lining of dentinal tubule lamina lucida and lamina densa are layers of basal lamina lamina dura is the compact bone that lies adjacent to the periodontal ligament in the tooth socket Let's now go to the question number 11. Identify the marked structure. The options are fracture, artifact, nutrient canals and bony trabeculae. The answer here is option C that is nutrient canals. The interdental and interradicular septa contain these nutrient canals and the nutrient canals are also called canals of zecker kendall and hirschfeld the nutrient canals contain interdental and interradicular arteries veins lymph vessels and nerves let's now go to the question number 12 muscles of tongue develop from the options are occipital myotome first pharyngeal arch second pharyngeal arch and preoptic myotome the answer is option a that is occipital myotome the muscles of tongue develop from myoblasts that migrate into developing tongue from the occipital myotome and the hypoglossal nerve 
is the nerve of occipital myotome. It supplies the intrinsic muscles of the tongue. Let's now go to the question number 13. The change in a cell as it migrates from stratum basal to stratum corneum is known as the options are differentiation, maturation, anaplasia and division. The answer is option A that is differentiation. Differentiation is the biochemical and morphological changes that occur in a keratinocyte as it migrates from stratum basal to stratum corneum. With differentiation, cells become more specialized. Maturation is the process of cell migration from the basal layer to the surface. And anaplasia represents loss of differentiation, that is there is poor cellular differentiation. The cells appear more primitive and anaplasia is seen in case of neoplasm. So, differentiation is specialization of cell as it matures from stratum basal to stratum corneum. Let's now go to question number 14. Answer cervicalis supplies which muscle? The options are thyrohyoid, sternohyoid, scalenus anterior and scalenus medius. The correct answer here is option B that is sternohyoid. The muscles innervated by ansa cervicalis include sternohyoid, sternothyroid and omohyoid muscles. So, it innervates all the infrahyoid muscles. The only infrahyoid muscle it does not innervate is thyrohyoid. Let's now go to question number 15. Besides contraction of the secretory unit, the other function of myoepithelial cell is to secrete. The options are matrix metalloproteinase, inhibitor of matrix metalloproteinase, proteinase and interleukins. The answer here is option B that is inhibitor of matrix metalloproteinase. The myoepithelial cells are epithelial cells that have contractile ability and thus they show the properties of a muscle cell. Its functions include rapid ejection of saliva from secretory unit and intercalated ducts. It shows anti-tumor activity like it secretes tissue inhibitor of matrix metalloproteinase and anti-angiogenesis factor. It acts as a physical barrier to infiltration of neoplastic cells. Let's now go to the last question that is question number 16. During tissue processing in histopathology, which of the following is used as a clearing agent? The options are 70% alcohol, absolute alcohol, formalin and xylene. The answer here is option D that is xylene. Here formalin is used as a fixative, alcohol acts as a dehydrating agent and xylene is the most commonly used clearing agent. So, that's all for now. I hope the video was helpful. Do feel free to give your feedback about this video. Thank you.